awesome. That's awesome. Music is medicine. Uh, music is a language that's universal. But the most important thing to me in making the music for this film was authenticity. I did not want to uh, simply hire a bunch of Hollywood musicians. You can duplicate Tibetan music and South African music. Uh, I thought it was really important to have musicians and singers who actually lived the story that uh, Archbishop um, and Dalai Lama have lived. So there's something special that's in the music. There's a soul, there's a spirit, there's the fact that they went through this. When I spoke to Young Chen yesterday, I learned for the first time that she also was in prison for being at, at protests. And there were stories I don't even want to repeat about um, abuses that her family members went through. One, two of her brothers died of malnutrition. It's heartbreaking and we forget the Tibetan people. We all know about South Africa and apartheid. We know it's been in the headlines for decades and somehow we seem to have neglected this small little country up in the mountains. Uh, I've learned a lot from her. She and Te Chung, who's another Tibetan artist I'm working with on the project, who's also uh, plays a lot of instruments, which is great, as well as the Soweto Gospel Choir, who um, are collaborating with me on this. All about authenticity, all about really adding the spirit of the countries. And at the same time, the fact that this is a universal story, it's not just Tibet, it's not just South Africa. There's a lot of other people fighting for pre freedom, fighting for equality, wanting to, their voices to be heard, having their music be heard, because it is, as with Young Chen, music is medicine. The hardest thing to uh, learn was that you need suffering to appreciate joy. One of the best things that the Dalai Lama says in the film is that, there really is more good in the world than bad. It's just, we've become used to seeing negative things and then we think everything is negative when it really isn't. Joy, joy.